मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज कॉन्फिगरिंग एन टी पी बेसिकली एन टी पी इज नथिंग बट नेटवर्क टाइम प्रोटोकॉल इज अ नेटवर्किंग प्रोटोकॉल विच इज यूज फॉर क्लॉक सिंक्रोनाइजेशन बिटवीन ऑल ओवर द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम विच आर कनेक्टेड ऑन द नेटवर्क सो ऑल द सिस्टम ऑल द डिवाइस शुड हैव अ सिंक्रोनाइज क्लॉक टाइमिंग so that's what ntp do okay that ntp protocol does so here we'll be declaring one particular server as an ntp server like i did before you all can see i have labeled it this server on the left most side i will just click on it again so you all can see this is highlighted on the left hand side ntp server so first thing we have to enable this ntp service so that all the devices in all this like all the devices in this network clock timing should remain synchronized okay so what you have to do first thing you have to go to the ntp server click on it there are physical config services tab in the services tab you will see the ntp thing ntp part so go to ntp and by default it is disable disable you have to make it enable so make it enable and you have to pass the key you can give any key but just for the simplicity i'll just mention the key one the key is one and the password you can set any password but i'll just follow the same approach given in the manual that ntp pa 55 this will be the password okay so i'm just enabling the service on the ntp on this server and declaring it as a ntp server and i'm done with it i'll close this so this was the first step now later after that you have to go to the all the routers now so i'll go to the router r1 first i'll enter I'll exit from the configuration interface mode and I'll get myself into the configuration mode so we are in configuration mode and I'll type that I'm making the router aware about the NTP server now so how to do that so you just have to mention the command fire the command NTP server and that machine IP address if you remember that this particular NTP server IP address was declared 3 because zero was the network address or one was the router address sorry two ntp server was two in our case so i'll just mention i'm making r1 aware that now there is a ntp server 192.168.1.2 enter after firing it you can even verify if you ask router now that show me ntp status so you should be able to see the configuration if you are not able to see the command or add, uh, the answer or the result here kindly make sure that you exit yourself from the configuration mode and then fire the command like again now because we are not configuring we are just asking for the status so exit and then fire show ntp status enter and you all can see the clock is unsynchronized 16 no reference clock something something we are getting the output here now step number 3 we have to configure the routers to update the hardware clock because we can see that it is still unsynchronized right but we have made the router aware about the server ntp server so for that you have to again get back yourself into configuration mode configure terminal enter and fire the command that is ntp update hyphen calendar enter okay so what this command this command will periodically update the hardware clock with the time learned from ntp server okay so that's what i have fired ntp update calendar also we have to con configure the ntp authentication also on r1 because we have set the password you all saw in ntp server i set the key and the password so of course r1 has to communicate with it so of course authentication has to be done so i'll fire the command now ntp authenticate okay and i'll also mention the key that this ntp trusted hyphen key was 1 and enter and the final command comes ntp authentication hyphen key one 
md5 that was a password which i have set md ntp pa double 5 enter now you all can see i've just fired this four command to make router first authenticate like router authenticating itself first on the ntp server and using the services of ntp now so now the final command will be like all this command you people have to fire for r2 and r3 in a same manner same sequential manner what i'll be doing i'll be again posting this sequential command in the description so that you can directly pick it up from there and directly paste it in your own cisco packet tracer console okay for your router so these are the three command and the last command is that configure the routers to time stamp to log the messages also but still we have not uh, made the syslog server ready for it but let's see whether things have got configured or not so let's exit again now and let's fire show ntp status now you can see the clock is has been synchronized before the output was unsynchronized but after authenticating the router to the ntp server now clock is synchronized okay so this is what the output we expect or examiner expects okay so you have to fire this all this same commands for r2 and r3 and the clock will get synchronized that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook